going on chickies it's baron here today we're going to be going over should you buy the aegis dynamics pack or not now i know you guys want individual ships like whether or not you should buy individual ships and i will be doing that but i'm going to sort of split it up between packs and ships every now and then and we've gotten into a schedule with these videos so um i hope you guys enjoy this check out links in the description i have been streaming lately so go check that on twitch um, but we're going to get straight into it. So obviously we're going to be talking about the Aegis Dynamics Pack 2951. And a lot of you won't want to buy this because obviously it is a larger ship pack. Um, it does cost a fair bit more money. So we're going to be getting into that as well. So obviously with this you get everything but the Raven, um, the Pirate and the Nautilus Saltis. So you know there are some ships that you don't get but there are ships that you get. So you know the, the number of ships that you do get. You might not want them all. You might want to see to you a couple of them. I know I wouldn't want to hammer head like i just wouldn't find a use for that at all but i the only thing you'd be able to cc that up to is a polaris so it's sort of unfortunate that you couldn't even uh you can't cc up to something like a uh, a polaris uh not a polaris sorry <laughs> um a kraken or an idris which would be a bit of a downside um so in this we know that it comes with pretty much all the ships as you can see you got the javelin being the number one ship there you got the idris p which it doesn't even come with an idris k kit which is kind of funny kind of weird um comes for the reclaimer a nautilus the hammerhead the retaliated bomber and base comes with the vulcan all the vanguard series the redeemer the saber comet the saber the warlock uh the avenger titan renegade the titan the stalker and the eclipse uh, and the gladius and it comes with the gladius valiant as well so keep that in mind it comes with the valiant so idris is about 1500 jabs about 3000 now the lowest price ship in this is the titan which is like 55 dollars so i think all these other ships would be perfect to cc you up from where like the hoplite's 235 the harbinger's 290 so they would be perfect to use to go and you know cc you up to something a little bit bigger maybe something a little bit better like even the inferno series uh the Aries series sorry the inferno and the ion it's completely up to you but i'm going to be getting this pack later on and then i will be going from that to a praetorian pack but i could also go from this and have a drake pack as well so it's going to be hand in hand i know you guys think i'm insane but it's something that i want to do um it's a goal it's going to keep the content really interesting on the channel and i've got a lot of stuff coming up for you guys so hopefully youtube goes well let's just keep our fingers crossed okay <laughs> But um, okay, so that's all the ships it comes with. Um, it's a decent pack. There's a lot of obviously a lot of junk in there. Like I said, you've got the warden, the sentinel, the hoplite, the harbinger. Realistically, you only need one. You could have the sentinel though, the warden, or even the harbinger. But I would keep maybe the uh, the harbinger and the sentinel, being that you know one they have two different um, sort of aspects of gameplay. One having its EMP and then the other one just being a large fighter. You got your Redeemer there, so I would definitely keep the Redeemer. Um, if you are looking at getting this before they're released, you will definitely get value for money because obviously the Redeemer hasn't been released yet, so the pack may go up when it is released. You got the Saber, it's, I would just get rid of that now because it's not that good at the moment. The Eclipse is good because you get three size nines in there. Gladius, I always have a Gladius. I love the Gladius. I have my Pirate Gladius. I love it. The Vulcan is going to be also really good. I would definitely see to you the Retaliator Bomber up because you're paying like just over $100 just on a module itself. So the Retaliator base would make more sense. I mean, you can keep the Bomber for few, like current gameplay and then flick it off later you know it's just it's all up to you the nautilus i would definitely keep because it's you know it's a mine laying it has uh drones with turrets like mines with turrets on it and, and it has um a drone on there to disarm ordnance and then store those ordnance on your ship and then we you know redeploy them as you wish <clears throat> with the reclaimer i would definitely keep that as well uh, given that it's going to have really great future gameplay and they are building the salvaging back end at the moment so that's gonna be really interesting uh, the Idris P, obviously something that's going to be going up in price once it is released. It is in full development at the moment for Squadron 42. And the Javelin as well in development for Squadron 42. And it's almost uh, finished. So again, this ship's going to be quite large. And the law behind the Javelin is that you will have to completely arm this. But then people have, you know, come out and made statements like the Vast Chris Roberts directly. And he said it's always going to come with some decent weaponry. And uh, it's always going to be, you know, ready for battle. But you may have to upgrade those components, you know, to actually have it as a much more decent ship. So going over the price of the ships, the individual costs, um, it was a bit weird. 
going off hanger dot link is 9415 now in australian dollars this pack costs 9790 with the 10 percent tax on top of it so we'll go over it um i think with in america it would cost you about 8811 in australia 9790 with a tax i also figured it out that these ships will cost so that the 9400 was the individual cost for the ships and in Australia, with the tax, it would be roughly around $10,356. So in Australia, you're saving about $566.50. Yes, the 10% tax does hurt. In America, you're saving about $604. But again, I'm just putting this off as the average because I had to figure out the price of the pack because I did take a screenshot of it and there's no real information on the 2951. Uh, 51 pack there's only information on the 2950 pack so that's also a bit of a downside but like i said it's a good pack um it comes with a lot of junk but again obviously if you weren't putting yourself out financially and you had the money to actually purchase this it's a good buy but again like i said there's a lot of junk in this but if you want the guaranteed idris p and javelin it makes a lot of sense to have it um, it's unfortunate that it doesn't come with an Idris M because it was promised to previous backers who originally got one as a standalone that they will just, it will never become available unless you have Praetorian or Legatus. Also, if ever, anyone has an F7A kit, they want to sell, you know, close to um, MSRP is what it was sold. Can you hit me up um, on Discord? Lawless Baron, hashtag 1337. I would be internally grateful if someone could, um, you know, I could get one. I, yeah, it's just... Out of curiosity, if anyone can get a hold of one, that'd be fantastic. You might not be able to, but uh, it's just a question that I'm putting out there. So keep that in mind, <laughs> please. Um, but again, like I said, great pack, great ships, um, a lot of worth in there. They're Javelin, they're just P. Obviously, you can't CCU them off unless you were to melt this pack completely. And it's always going to guarantee that you're going to have those ships in the future. You're not going to be without those ships. It's like a guaranteed to have those ships that's why you're buying that pack and it's the price that you're paying for it that guarantees it so keep that in your mind if you want to get this pack and it's up to you you know it's it's a great pack also for everyone who's wondering why i'm doing these videos it's covering all aspects of people who want to pay for ships in this game like legatus praetorian dominus not everyone wants to buy them i know and a lot of people are curious about the prices and what you get and you know what's included in the pack so just keep that in mind i'm always going to cover ships for everyone let me know in the comment down in the comments what you want me to do next um just make sure i haven't done it already but i hope you guys enjoyed so much i'll see you in the verse